Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the new Paradigm Woods and Irons from Callaway. Well, coming up on Golf Central, some incredible LPGA performances today. Megan Kang leads the way in Portland, looking for back-to-back -back victories on the LPGA Tour. And on the DP World Tour, Matthew Fitzpatrick is looking to complete the Swiss hat trick as the battle to make the Ryder Cup has come down to the final stretch. Plus, the Walker Cup got underway today, and it was not the start the U.S. team wanted. So what's their strategy for tomorrow? That's all on the way. As we welcome you into our post-game show, Kira K. Dixon here alongside Jim Gallagher Jr. Jim, wow, this was yeah. an absolutely incredible day today. We had some wonderful scoring on the LPGA. A Megan Kang is on a roll, turning in her third straight 66 in Portland, and she's looking for back-to-back -back wins and, of course, some surprising results over in St. Andrews, but the GB&I squad looks poised for a possible victory tomorrow. Yeah, the Americans got their hands full over there at St. Andrews, and you expect that because I think only one of the players uh, have played on the U.S. team have played Lynx Golf, so that's a big advantage. But on the LPGA, great scoring as we expected. Soft conditions. We've seen a 62 out there. Megan Kang trying to win back-to-back, -back, as you said. we got three or four players uh, in the top ten trying to get their first win. Mm. A Monday qualifier is one of those. So there's a lot going on out there. It's an exciting uh, week of golf. So uh, let's get to the highlights and see what we can get. Yeah, absolutely. Storylines about you toss it to the highlights, Jim. <laughs> I love it when you do my job. All right. Well, Megan Kang leads the way. And on the putt for birdie on the par 5-7. Yeah, she beat the birdie at the second hole, the par 3, and on a great roll. Putter is working today. That it was on the par 4 and ninth, her third shot from the rough. Yeah, tough lie right there. It's really easy to grab that heel in there, but she doesn't. Does a decent job, but she ended up making bogey. Yeah, but maybe a bit of motivation. Here she is in the par 5 10th, her third. A little rough. The greens are still soft, so let's see if she can hold this one. Does a nice job with that. Oh, nearly makes it, but Firming up just a little bit, maybe. Yeah, she would make par there to stay at 13 under. Here she is on the par for 11th, the second shot, her approach. Yeah, usually a pretty low ball hitter. This is kind of an uphill shot right here. She's staring it down, and why wouldn't she? And look at that spinning back. She's got a good chance there, nice. Game face on, makes birdie to get to 14 under. Here's Megan Kang on the par three 13th, this birdie putt. Yeah, also for birdie at 12. This for three in a row. Can she do it again? Is she making her way up the leaderboard? Yes, she is. She can absolutely do it again. That gets her to 16 under. And on the par 4 15th, another putt for birdie. Yeah, they asked her, did you know where you kind of stood on the leaderboard at this point? She said no, because she knows she's filling it up. And guess what? That continues. Continues all the way to 17 under. She makes her way to the par 4 18th and Guess what? Another putt for birdie. Yeah, imagine that. This is for her 12th putt on the back nine, left to right, and nothing but dead center. And she put it. She's making everything this week again. Seven birdies for her today. What a scorecard. 18 under after round three. Now, somebody who is looking for their first win on the LPGA Tour, Hyo Jun Jang, this rookie, par four, 11th, her third from the rough. Yeah, I've been kind of fighting a back injury. He's only played six events. This is her seventh, but chips it in there nicely. After 31, the front nine, that was with a bogey, so nice shot there. All yeah. right, we'll take that. Now on the par three, 13th, her putt for birdie. Now she got a card through the Epson Tour, number 10 on the money list, beat Bailey Tardy, but under $2,000 last year. Finally getting to play healthy, nice putt there. That gets her to 14 under. Now on the par 4 15th, another putt for birdie. I mean, the greens are rolling so nice here. Watch this putt here. It's a little left to right. Or did she make another one? Yes, she did. Sinks it, gets to 15 under. And now on the par 3 16th, this tee shot. I always felt like this is a difficult hole. This green was always firm. She's bringing it high right to left. An 82 foot apex. Takes it right out of Look, the greens are holding. <laughs> Beautiful shot there as well. She would make birdie there to get to 16 under. Now on the 17th, her third shot from the bunker. Yeah, let's see what kind of shot she can hit her. That can out low, kind of releasing towards the hole. Overall, pretty nice. Gets up and down to save par. Stays at 16 under. Now on the par 4, 18th. Guess what, Jim? Another putt for birdie. Oh, there hadn't been many birdies on this hole today. And this is the right to left. Or guess what she's, you said, 11 
30s and a bogey today. What a round. She shoots her career low 62. Got her, her card last year via the Epson Tour, as you mentioned, Jim. Hasn't played a lot due to back injury, but we are certainly getting to know her today. An impressive performance. And speaking of getting to know her, she comes from South Korea. She came to the States at 16 years old, started playing golf at 10 years old. Uh, during her year on the Epson tour, her mom actually moved uh, to the States with her from South Korea to help her navigate things like renting a car and staying yeah. in hotels because she just wasn't old enough to be able to make those car rentals. And she is tied with Shinetti Wanasayan, our Monday qualifier on the par 415. Man, look at this line right here. Not much green to work with. Comes out there nicely. Oh, did she? Nearly chips it in. She's going to take it and make par. That par helps her stay at 15 under. And now on the par 316, this putt for birdie. This could be an amazing story. Monday qualifier has a chance to win. Nice putt there for birdie. And that'll get her to 16 under. And she'll finish at 17 under. What a day it was. Jim, Shinetti want to say and has missed her nine last cuts. Wow. And now she puts together this performance. Kyo Jun Jang, of course, putting together a great performance in her rookie year. Megan Kang looking for those back-to-back -back wins. Yeah, it's a, a pretty interesting leaderboard. At the start of the day, there were a lot of tour winners, and you're thinking, oh, this is going to be really exciting. Everybody's got a chance now. As you look out, some dreams could come true. Uh, some great golf again, as you said, but uh, impressive, 62 with a bogey. We knew there'd be good scores, but I didn't know there'd be that many good scores. And, and, and Megan King, I mean, what can not to be said if it has a chance to win back-to-back -to -back, uh, tournaments? Uh, you know, Boutier won back-to-back -back this year, but the last one to win their first one to win again was G and, uh, Area Jutania Garden. So that's some pretty big footsteps. So it's amazing what winning does. I mean, you kind of come in there, you kind of relax, you know what that feeling was. And when she won last week, she shoots 74 the final round, but you beat Jin Young Co, one mm. of the best players in the world. Uh, so she knows she has the confidence to do that. So I think that's really transcended into 366s uh, this week. It's amazing. When you ride that wave, you just got to keep going. But she's playing with so much confidence. Not that she didn't have it, but she knows she can get it done. And she knows, like I said, there's a feeling that, hey, I've already done it. I beat the best. Why don't we just go do it again? Well, speaking of confidence, she's got plenty of that, but she also has to make sure that she has a lot of energy. Winning yeah. takes a lot out of it you. She, she had some comments yesterday about how she's just been trying to take it easy, watching some Netflix. What is it like when you come off of winning on something like the LPGA Tour and then you got to do it all again and kind of start over? That's a great question because you win and you have that instant high and that adrenaline going, and then the next day you start all over again. You start from scratch, and mm -hmm. I think that's the hardest thing. You've got to have maybe a day to relax to kind of kind of get going back in there but usually that Thursday is the tougher day uh, but she sh opens with 66 so she's right back into it you don't really have time but you know things become in your mind easier things become simplified and I think you make better decisions I think that's part of winning I know for myself but it's like that instant high on Sunday and then it's all over and you start again. That's the beauty and the tough part of this game, continuing that great play. Very impressive uh, so far this week. Yeah, it seems like she is keeping things very yep. simple, as you yes. said, simplifying the yep. game of golf.